Na general hospital be bia ye wo. Enye ya de ntia na me ba me ba on wood. On wood na be wo ni first we na mo mo the light out light out. Mo ntimo ntimo ni aka kraka we. Aka se we ntimo ni mo ntimo find this solution bia mo be so so light am an kola no on be survive. Eh. Wo kun kola ne keke. I was supposed to go and visit my child around 4, 4 a.m. this morning. So when I went there, I couldn't find my child, and the doctor told me to wait outside. So I was outside, and he came that um, they are sorry because I've lost my child due to the light out last night. The hospital is experiencing power outages, causing dissatisfaction among nursing mothers patients and family members. During the visit, the light suddenly went off. The light system was here is bad. They give three minutes they off it. I mean, the way they off the light off here is too much. But they have gen search that comes on. Oh, look, the gents only here and here, the gents work. But apart from this side, and uh, uh, this place, uh, emergency, that place. Apart, from, apart from this side, there's no generator here. Mm. Despite the hospital's generator sets, certain departments, including the maternity block, training center, post delivery ward, and OPD, are unable to be powered. The new neonatal care unit had light, but a nurse on duty confirmed to us the situation wasn't the same when the light went off the previous day. Pregnant women in the antenatal unit face longer review times due to equipment requiring electrical power. The administrator of the Temajina Hospital, Apostle Dr. Samuel Abin Mensa, although declined to speak to the news team on camera, said he's yet to be briefed on whether a baby died or not. He also confirmed although the hospital has generators, the capacity is not enough to power the entire hospital. This is a post-delivering world. The heat in here due to the light out is unbearable. The babies here just cannot stand it. Joseph Armstrong, Good and the TV3, Thermogena Hospital.